Hi guys, now in this section we will discuss another technique that is used to reduce harmonic content in the uh, inverted uh, power uh, supply waveform and the name of technique is uh, pulse width modulated inverter. This is uh, called pulse, uh, pulse width modulation PWM. So, in this technique, uh, this is uh, quite a single uh, simple technique like previous technique that we discussed uh, uses a uh, very large number of diodes and it is quite expensive. In this technique, uh, we are using only 4 diodes and with, by using the 4 diodes you can see this is forming single phase full bridge PWM inverter and using these switches the waveform is produced phase voltage waveform of PWM inverter the shape will be like this. So, the output DC will be pulsated with some limited duration like from alpha 1, alpha 2, 1 pulse, alpha 3 to alpha 4 second pulse, alpha 5 to onwards like third pulse and 0, pi by 2 and pi is these are showing the uh, angle and WT is showing the phasor rotation. So, it is simulating in the start you can see the pulse width is small. So, RMS uh, equivalent for this uh, small pulse will be less. So, more and more number of pulses are generated this is just a simplified waveform we can generate hundreds and thousands of pulses to make this uh, sinusoidal waveform more and more and accurate and in this way we are basically reducing the harmonic. This is the Fourier series of the quarter wave symmetrical M pulse PW waveform. This, this is the Fourier equation that we are using for pulse width modulation and in order to calculate switching uh, angle we are doing computation using fo following formula. So, it is all mathematics. So, using Fourier analysis and computation of the switching angles we are calculating by these equations. Here we can see a different modulation index we can see the performance of pulse width modu modulation for example at 0.82 modulation index we are getting uh, THD total harmonic disorder is 38.22 which is uh, fairly high and when the modulation is increased uh, in the uh, then what is happening that uh, THD is increased. So, this technique is useful but still it has a uh, very high uh, THD value as compared to our previous technique uh, DCMLI where we were achieving up to 9 up in the range of 10 percent. So, this is technique uh, we it is not recommended to use alone, but uh, it can be used uh, in congestion with uh, you can say uh, PWM with the DCMLI. So, we will discuss in our next slide. Thank you.